Oh, it's not a lot of overtime. Bolton Smiley. <laughs> what, your mum's decorating her room fluorescent pink, is she? Got that in art. You got that spray in my walls! Again, you're covered in the stuff! It's not spraying walls, it's graffiti art, innit? September, organising fights. The same month, spraying foul and abusive language on my science block. October, here we go again! I'm sorry, Candice, he's had his chances. Look, do you realise how serious this is? Every penny I earn from this kitchen goes on him. You exclude him and... I can't. I won't have drugs promoted or glorified in my school. I'm all Mr Rimmer. I'm not saying he's not had it coming, but if he's at home all day on his own, well, he'll have all sorts coming round. Yeah, well, maybe Daily Field Eye can do something with him. That's at least four miles away. Yeah, with George Madder, he's the head there. He owes me a favour. Maybe they'll take him. I ain't being Billy No Mates in Daily High. No way! They kicked him out, haven't they? I know. Yeah, well, that rim has always had it in for us. Hey, listen, he's had plenty of warnings. Yeah, well, there's loads of them that have had warnings, Mr Lawson. But how come it's always our Bolton that gets it in neck? I mean, one minute he's telling me I can't have bursary, and next he's slinging him out. Sorry, what bursary? One's for single mums. Um, he said I'd missed deadline. Alicia Dillon's been telling everyone she got two grand. To come here? Yeah? Yeah. Whole thing stinks, I'm telling you. If he thinks that... Anyway, come on. Candice! I'm going to education. D how did you think you'd get away with it? Eddie, listen. I've had a lot on, and... I just didn't have the chance to Can't get... believe this. You're paying middle-class parents two grand to send their kids here. It's hardly jackpot money. It is to the likes of Candy Smiley. Look, this is for single parents whose kids can make a real academic difference to this school. You've lost the plot, yeah. mate. Yeah, well, maybe I have lost the plot working in this place for 15 years. Maybe that's the problem. No! The problem is Ofsted and your value-added crap and your league tables. You know, that's before you get to your 33% free school meals and a special needs register that reads like a psychiatrist's waiting list. These ten kids have transformed this place. And you know what? Next year, there'll be ten more. We won't have to pay them. I went on the flaming radio and said what a great community school we are. Look, I'm only trying to do what every other head in this country is trying to do. Eddie, listen. We can extend the scheme next year. A bit late for Candice and Bolton. Yeah, well, I might have been a bit hasty on that. <laughs> you get paid not to be hasty. I think Rhea Cheatham has found out she's coming in a break. Well, she's rumbled you. What about you? Now that you know. Eddie! You could be looking at the sack here, mate. I can see that, Jack, but what I don't see is any collaborative partnerships with your cluster schools. Sorry I'm late. Eddie Lawson, uh, Deputy Head. Hi, um, Rhea Cheatham. I've asked Eddie to sit in with us. I hope you don't mind. No, no, no. I'd uh, quite like to have his input. So they were arguing in the corridor in front yeah. of the kids? Yep. Apparently Jack's been doing a bit of jiggery pokery with the budget. Doesn't surprise me. He'd do just about anything to big himself up. Yeah, well, whatever. I think he's in a lot of trouble. Good. They received a bursary to come here. You see, they're from single-parent families, and that's who we wanted to target. That's not what the EIC money is meant for. You can't do this. Why not? I mean, Excellence in Cities funding is for our school development grant. It's money to spend as we see fit. But it's to be spent on pupils, not parents. Well, it's for school improvement and pupil achievement. Right, so where's your school improvement plan? <sighs> it's 20 grand. It's not half a million. Look, it's not just the G&T kids that are doing well. They're bringing on others as well. Mr Lawson? Please, Eddie. <clears throat> I think it might be a nice idea for you to meet these kids. Right. This is, uh, Ms. Mrs? Mrs. Mrs. Cheatham, and she's from the LEA. 
and she'd like to talk to you about... Well, I'm going to let her tell you. Mr. Rimmer's told me a lot about... Mr. Rimmer, you better come to the canteen now. Candice is kicking off big time. Why did you not come to Waterloo Road? Our mum's made us. Did you know anything about the school before you came? And it was a dump. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what everyone thinks? Yeah, but they give you loads of homework. What's the world coming to, eh, Mrs. Cheatham? I've been to four schools now, and this one's the best. Mr. Rimmer's the best. Am I done for? Calm yourself. The kids have been our biggest selling point. What even Alicia did? I bet she enjoyed sticking the knife in. She tried. See? But the others outvoted her. We'd better get busy. Have you flagged any of this bursary stuff up on the SEF forms? Reports to governors? We've got to give her something. I thought you were ready to string me up. No, well, you're not out of the woods yet. She's on the phone to her people now. OK, I've added a bit to our development plan and I've tweaked a few of these departmental evaluations. Eh? Why are you doing this? Because I think you've got a chance, if Nigel backs you. Ria, come in. Gentlemen. How did you find the kids? Great. They spoke very highly of the school. Yeah. I'll come straight to the point. I suggest you contact your chair of governors and ask him to convene an emergency meeting here at about two o'clock. Why? What's happened? The LEA will be laying formal charges of financial misappropriation. At you, Jack. <laughs> 